Thank you. Well, I can speak now to Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. So where do you think we are right now in terms of international pressure, US pressure for Israel to change something of the dynamic? I think one of the signs of uh, kind of a change is uh, the reports about uh, a meeting between the head of Mossad and the Qatari prime minister. Because the, after the demonstration of the family of the hostages, uh, putting pressure on Mr. Netanyahu government, in addition to the American, because he's losing on the international level uh, the support because uh, there is many criticism for them because of their supporting to Israel uh, without any reservation. So American also put pressure. Uh, Mr. Biden uh, calling for uh, scaling down the uh, the attacks, the strikes, in order to uh, to do more to protect uh, civilians. So the meeting, if it happens, it will. Uh, uh, paves the way for a truce which allow for releasing some hostage, hostages so which uh, make like please the family of the hostages from one side at the same time it will allow more aid to go inside Gaza because there is the situation there is, is very bad. The hospitals facing problems. There is some children are trapped in one of the uh, hospitals called Kamal Edwan. There is a strikes in some uh, schools and one of the uh, victims of uh, of or one of the casualties of this uh, uh, strikes in a uh, school in Khan Yunis is the Al Jazeera cameraman. Uh, so. The truth, well, as what it happened before for a week, it helped to make both the fighting, uh, let more aid to come in, alleviate the situation there, because the situation of the killing is more than 18,500 and more than 60,000 injured. So the toll of the casualties is more. That's what pressure on uh, Israel to uh, go for negotiation and another truce. And is there any optimism in Qatar or, or elsewhere that this is going to happen anytime soon? You know, from Qatar, usually the Qatari are uh, very uh, like cautious about like giving any uh, details or leaks because they said like we can't do any leaks about the negotiation because it happened in corridors. We can't like reveal them until it happens. But all the signs and indicators saying like the truth might happen in the next few days because there is no way out of it except a truce, which make like people to rethink again from America, Israel, and the region about the post-war, because John Kirby is a spokesperson of the National Security Council, uh, the American, uh, yeah. So he said, like, the post-war uh, negotiation would be Hamas not be part of the government. That's too early, because the Palestinians think Hamas is part of the Palestinian fabric. So they talk about two-state solution. This will end the problem according to the American, according to the Arabs, according to the Palestinians. Only the uh, government of Mr. Netanyahu don't see that, like, they don't see the... Uh, the, uh, the viability of a two-state solution with Hamas in there. So this is, a, this is a situation about that, but that's too early. The first step now is reaching a true through negotiation between Qatari from one side and the Israeli uh, delegations. Okay, Syed Chata, thank you very much for coming on this uh, studio with me here and talking me through it. We'll speak to you again a little bit later.